Um, Jack Manson versus Edmund Shabazian. That happened on the weekend. Um, how do you feel about that? I feel like Edmund Shabazian was going to win it at the end of the first round. Very good on the feet. Very good on the feet, but just he. I feel like Jack Manson just took him to the ground. Here's what I think. If that was a striking match, Edmund definitely would have got him. He had so many head strikes, so many body strikes. He was throwing that jab. He was throwing those kicks as well. Those head kicks were pretty impressive. And then, but a guy like Jack Manson, he just found a hole in his game, and that was his takedown, uh, what he was like on the ground, and he just completely outstruck him on the ground. I feel like first round, he realized, okay, I can't beat him standing up. Second round, took him to the ground for a little bit. There was still a bit back and forth on the ground as well. But it was just when he was hitting hitting all those strikes to a head and then he had that nasty cut in the third round. It was bleeding. And he pretty much almost put him in a crucifix position as well. I just, yeah, I felt like it was a loss. But that first round was definitely to Edmund. The third and the second round to Jack. Third round was the decided round. I felt like maybe if that was a five round, that could have gone a separate way. Right. If, or if it stayed standing, I reckon Edmund could have got the win there. But the way that he held his own, I was very, very impressed with. Mm. Uh, I actually thought that he did a lot better than I expected uh, coming into this round. And I feel like he's now taken this this experience. I reckon his next fight, he will we'll definitely see something a lot better. Because like we said earlier on, when you fight a veteran and you're a young upcomer, he's 23 and you really stuck it to him in the first round. Mm -hmm. I feel like he's got so much to work on now and he's going to keep evolving. So... I just want to, I'm pretty excited to see where it comes from here. Uh, it's just now that this is his second loss. Mm -hmm. So if he loses again, he, he's, you know, he's going to have a bit of a question mark next to his name. But then again, 23 years old, 10th in the rankings, in the, and he went up against number seven. So I feel like that they're doing the same thing to him as they did Darren Till. Young prospect, got a lot of potential, and they're just throwing straight killers at him. I didn't really understand. I know they want, you know, Jack to get a fight and stay active, but for Jack Manson, number seven, to be fighting um, number 10, Edmund Shabazian, it was very weird. Just because at the time, it wasn't number, he wasn't number seven. He was number four or five in the rankings. And he was fighting Ed Edmund Shabazian, who was particularly... A, you know, low in the rankings as well. I believe when it first was going to happen, there was a much more drastic difference in, in positions. I think it was like six or seven different places in the rankings was the difference in where they were on the list. And it didn't really make sense for me since Jack, although coming off a loss, you know, it was a very stylistically bad matchup for someone so young and someone who's mo mostly talented on the, on the feet rather than on the ground. I feel like... Edmund Shabazian, he really does need to improve on his defensive wrestling uh, and perhaps jiu-jitsu as well. Mm. I, th I think that very, very talented on the feet. I think he's very good at it. But um, it's not a kickboxing match. It's mixed martial arts. It, you need to be a little bit more... Do I actually think this is a little bit like a mirror image of... Um, of Ronda Rousey. I felt like Ronda Rousey was so good at taking people down. Her judo was incredible. World class, obviously. Being, you know, a, I think level, a obviously. bronze medalist in the Olympics, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, look, Evan Shabazian got a lot to, uh, got a, a lot of, you know, space to grow. He's getting thrown sharks and he's going to have to learn really quick because they're not building him up like they really should be. Um, I feel like he's almost like a mirror image of of Ronda Rousey and the fact that Ronda wasn't very good on the feet, right? Her striking, her boxing particularly was fucking terrible. Yeah. But she was able to just take people down and go straight for that armbar or just ground and pound, right? And it worked, right? Because she, she had very good grip strength and she was so good at just taking people down that, you know, it kind of nullified their own strikes on the feet. Ed, Edmund Shabazian, really good on the feet, but... You know, he he does have good wrestling, right? But it's just like, it's it's not well-rounded. It's not to the point where he can hold his own against people like like a Derek Brunson, like a Jack Comanson, like a Marvin Vittori, mm. you know? 
And uh, that's worrisome because a lot of people in the middleweight division are very good wrestlers. Yeah. And, and that, that's what makes it worrisome, especially for, you know, bring up Kevin Holland. Young prospect, really good on the feet, takedown defense, a bit poor. Um, really good jiu-jitsu, but not so good off his back. So there is there is a lot of holes I can, I can see. But what I must say with Edmund Shabazian, fuck, well, who who would expect that from a 23 year old yeah. being put in a middleweight division this isn't bantamweight this isn't flyweight or featherweight this is the middleweight division you're 23 years old against some of the fucking the most elite killers on planet earth yeah for Edmund Shabazian to just be in there and be number 10 in the rankings goes to show that by the time he's 30 he'll be fucking amazing but what I would like to see is for his wrestling to be a lot better and I think his takedown defense. Yeah. Here's what I think should happen now. I feel like Jack Manson should fight Derek Brunson because mm. they've both beaten Edmund Shabazian. Right. Okay. And I feel like Edmund Shabazian should fight Kelvin Gastelum. But Darren Till's fighting Derek Brunson. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. I thought he was still recovering from breaking his, coll- breaking his collarbone. It doesn't take that long for you to heal your collarbone. Oh, okay. Well, fair enough. It, I definitely Well, then I feel like um, Jack Manchin should take the winner of that fight. Mm. Okay? And then I feel like I still feel like Evan Shabazzian should fight Kevin Kelvin Gastelum. Yes, I think that would be a really good fight, actually. Because Kelvin Gastelum lost to um, Jack Manson via heel hook in like the first round as well. Lost to Robert Whitaker. Yeah, and then again, you got someone with all this experience. But I still feel like Edmund Shabazzian should take a little bit of time away from the competition. Because it wasn't that long ago since he fought, uh, what's it called? I felt it was too quick a turnaround. Correct. What what can you really learn in that short period of time Yeah. Um, and improve your skills at that point? Yeah. Uh, obviously, 23 can learn really quickly in short periods of time. Much better than a 33-year-old or a 43-year-old. But... Um, you know, you, you can't learn that quickly for it to be significant against the most elite athletes on planet Earth. Mm-hmm. So I feel like you should take a little bit of time off. Don't really worry about the competition yet. Um, most likely by that time, it'll probably slide from 10 into the top 15, and that's fine. Um, I think he needs to have a drop down in competition and then build up from there. It just sucks because the UFC is not building them up. They don't seem to understand how to build up fighters. They just throw people at them and then they're like, yeah, whatever works. So it's, it's the UFC is very much sink or swim. They don't like to build up fighters. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, they found that with Sean O'Malley. That didn't well, they work. Tried to with him. And now they're building them up with, you know, a few cans. Yeah, but, you know, I mean... Oh, Sean, well, still like Sean O'Malley's still got a long way to go. Even though he, he's getting better, though, he just got his brown belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Mm. So he's definitely improving. Yes. He competes a lot. He's very active. Mm-hmm. Um, but you're right. You're right about that. It's the young fighters, especially at 23. Like, Kudos for that. 23 in the UFC, and you're number 10 in the world in the middleweight division. You're older than us. <laughs> He's, yeah, he's one year older than us, and he's he's top ten in the in the UFC middleweight rankings. Yeah. That's fucking insane. So hats off to him. Yeah. I wouldn't be um I wouldn't be too upset with this loss. It's against Jack Hermanson for fuck's sake. Yeah. So he just needs to really work on his wrestling yeah. and and his takedown defense. Here's the other thing. Just put this out. Just put in this out there. He first appeared on Dana White's Contender Series at the age of eighteen. Mm. 2018, and there you go. Uh, no, no, my maths off. And sorry, he'd be 20. 20. Oh man, Jesus, I can't. Uh, so I was thinking about our age. Yeah, he'd be 20. My bad. Um, yeah, so he was 20 years old when he mm-hmm. made his appearance on that. So, and then since then, he's been he's gone on nothing but a win streak. He won the Ultimate Fighter finale, and he's just kept going since then. This is this this is the first time though he's lost. Second, the second time he's ever lost so. In his professional MMA career, he was undefeated when he came to the yeah. UFC. Yeah, so it's rather now than later because, like they say, if you're always winning all the time, you're not learning. No. So that's what I'm 